Okay, so it's day you clear out time once a week. These little fuckers, uh, they get their cage gets a really good clean out, and that'll keep them healthy and it'll keep the place from getting too smelly. So when I'm cleaning, I put them in this little bad boy here. Look at them there, just sitting away. Oh, just coming up to see you. Oh, I'm too. Yeah, they both come to see you. So they sit in here and they stress out for an hour or two while they clean the cage out. I'll try to give them enough bits and bobs to play with. So the cage, everything's been cleaned out. The shelves have been taken off. All the toys have been taken out, the hay's been put in the bin. Gonna have to clean up that big rock as well. Obviously all the toys have been taken out. Uh, all the stuff that we can wash. Like the smaller parts, I take through to the kitchen. And I can give them a good going over here. All the wire stuff, all the kind of the balls, smaller toys and stuff. And then the bigger things, I take them through into the bog and they go in the bathtub. They get a right good wash, so I'll give them a good rinse off, rinse off, give them a scrub with a brush, and then they use their special antibacterial uh, and leave it on for like 15-20 minutes, and then I just uh, wash it back off again. So you've got Auntie Cory's tunnel of fun right there. You've got uh, the bed, balls, the wheel, a lot of the wiring. I do the rinse in here, and obviously all the platforms and things like that. So that's how you keep Degus fresh and happy and from smelling too bad because. Sometimes they can get a little bit whiffy. Okay, so this is the finished result right here. I figured I'd do something a little different this time. So the top cage, you've got obviously little tubes down below, a little screen for them and other tubes and a little ball to play with. This little guy's up here on the, it's like a low, kind of a low platform this time. So he's got his little munching log. He can climb up the stairs here. And he's got his log uh, platform which goes along so he can jump into his little hammock that thing spins about you can see it's moving a little. Also decided to make a little sky track this time so in here you've got this tube running along here so you can crawl down there munch on his coral stuff and then he comes out just above his bed um, and then obviously you've got the, the sawdust and the hay for them and the water bottle so we're down the stairs today it's not as exciting this time round um, you've got this little guy who's just about to fall off this mat chewing mat and then you've got his little bitey block um, you've got a little tunnel stroke hammock for them to go on you've got the wheel which they love running in and down below you've got another chewing log and a chewing kind of stack thing for them some little ladders for them to climb about on um, this little guy's coming up to say hello 